So I'm going to teach you how to do the slack throw element, which is the element that follows the first two slack elements in Takeshi slack combo. So let's say you do the first two elements, you go into this chopstick, you're going to let go of the thumb, and you're going to roll over, and then that momentum is going to carry the yo-yo up, and then you're just going to let go of the string of your non throw hand, and you can see that it's basic keychain mount. So that's going to be set up for this. But the chopstick slack element is um, more difficult than the following elements. So I would say if you're still working on those, you can actually get into the same setup just using a 1.5 mount. And as you roll this over, you're just going to let go. That way it's in the keychain mount and still has the momentum going counterclockwise. Because we need that momentum to carry on this trick, which, which looks like this. So I'm just going to teach you with that setup. It's easier to practice that way. So a 1.5 mount. And using that momentum, you're going to swing over. And this is the most important thing, actually. You're going to have to swing it, and as it swings around, you're going to have to um, intercept the string. So it's actually like this. So let me show you how it looks. Like that. So as you can see, as the yo-yo is going above your throw hand, so like that. There's a brief moment where you can intercept the string here that I'm plucking in front of you. You can just pull it left, and as you can see, the yo-yo will just dismount. So I see a lot of people using their um, whole palm to grab the string. Let me see if I can... Um, oh, that should grab it like this. Let's see. Whoops. Yeah, I, I think it's harder that way, but I've seen people basically grabbing the string like this with their palm and throwing over. I think that's way harder and also it, it looks kind of ugly that way. So um, what I do and what Takeshi actually does is just use his pointer only and as this comes around, he intercepts it. And the reason why this is easier is because there's a gap between the two strings. That way, all you have to do is make sure you're plucking the string around here. That way you're not touching the string um, that's further away from you. So what you basically have to do is uh, kind of get a rhythm going. So it's like one, two. Again, one, two. So like this becomes more like muscle memory. In the beginning, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna like accidentally pluck both strings like that, which is obviously gonna mess up the trick. So you're gonna just keep on practicing this for a while. It shouldn't be hard, actually. Just focus on plucking that string close to you. So as it comes over, you're just gonna slice across the left so let me actually show you slow like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see clearly here, but it's basically the same as grabbing this here and rolling over like that. Same thing like this. As it rolls over, you know, slice left, and that's the configuration you want to be in. So once you get this down, what you actually want to do is you want to pinch this. So you don't want to pinch preemptively, you want to only pinch after you got the slice. And as um, you pinch it, you're going to throw the slack over here. Uh, you don't actually want the slack to go in the gap, but that wouldn't be an issue when you're doing this. And let me tell you why. So as you do the the chop, you'll, you'll see that this yo-yo actually has momentum going counterclockwise around like this. Let me show you that again. Right. 
has momentum. And as you do this trick, the yo-yo goes over. You can see that I'm just letting the yo-yo do its thing. So I'm not manipulating the yo-yo after the chop. Yo-yo is just the yo-yo is just gonna retain its momentum, and I'm only manipulating the string. Uh, the string is hitting the camera, but um, you should get the gist. So basically, as you chop and the yo-yo comes around, the yo-yo is gonna be around like up above my throw hand, and that's gonna prevent this slack from actually hitting the yo-yo so you wouldn't have to worry about anything like that so as this comes around what's going to happen is you're going to throw the slack and as the slack comes around you're going to give it a little little jerking up motion so let me show you Oops. So basically, it's going to be a throw, and then as that comes around, you're just going to give it a little tug and let the slack come over. So this is the hardest part of the trick. And uh, let me try to get that out of the camera, like that. So that's going to be what it looks like, like that. First of all, like... When, when you do this trick in the beginning, the yo-yo is going to be distracting. You're going to like subconsciously try to manipulate the yo-yo. But after you do this chop, only focus on throwing this slack and doing the extra tug up to do that. So you can actually practice this even on a dead yo-yo probably. Um, Yeah, so I'd say just kill the yo-yo. Um, and just practice on a dead one. What, what was the mount? How do I was in? Give me a sec. So yeah, it's uh it's this wrap out the the other way and like that. And uh yeah, I'd say just practice on this, just kill the yo-yo here. So keep in mind again, it's gonna be a wrap, but not the usual way like this, but the other way. And then just set the string on top of your um, pointer. And then the finger is gonna be actually inserted from the top down like this. This is a setup. And you're gonna throw it like this. So what you want to do is actually throw it diagonally to the right slightly more towards you not straight to the right as that hits the the gap of the yo-yo so you want to throw it diagonally like this a bit towards you and this uh, you don't actually have to worry much about the string getting like caught on your finger because as you throw you're gonna subconsciously start pointing to the right which should just automatically result in the string dismounting so keep practicing this um, it's actually just effortless if you think about it just try to not make a big deal about aligning anything just effortless throw that way because actually if you think about it this arm motion is going to be having using the elbow as a pivot and it's going to move in a cone shape like this so it's actually natural that the slack is thrown diagonally and, and just practice that. So once again, just utilize this cone motion, throw, and as it comes around, you're gonna do that extra motion to get the slack rolling up twice. One, two, like that. Again. One, two. Oops. So, all of those are going to come together. This camera is annoying. Like that. So, you're going to keep doing that. And there's an extra step after this. 
but you want to do that and, and you also want to kind of keep somewhat of a rhythm so uh, when you when you do the chop one and as you chop you actually want to throw it instantly so keep in mind just keep looking at my left hand and you'll see that as soon as I chop I'm instantly throwing the slack very distracting yo-yo with the camera on me see I'm throwing it instantly as I'm chopping like that again like this so we chop throw and jerk up to get that double motion like that so the, jer the jerking up motion is gonna be a tiny arch uh, I'd say either going s like straight up or like in a small circle starting from um, upwards to the left like that S and slightly moving to the right so you get this like across but it's easier to just think of pushing it up like that so basically just throw it up as the slack comes around once again, chop, throw, throw. Let me see if I can do this very slowly so it's easier to show. Like that. So the, obviously the yo-yo is going to have to keep momentum so it goes around. But the yo-yo is just kind of an afterthought. So you can just do this. Um, you don't even so when you're practicing just keep the yo-yo there and just practice this um in the beginning it's obviously gonna have you can obviously have issues where the string is hitting the yo-yo like this but by practicing you're you're gonna start being able to throw diagonally like that so it doesn't get in the way and actually the yo-yo moving around doesn't do anything because this is actually the mount you want to actually be in anyways so practice that for a bit and when you get this you see the slack coming around you want to catch that slack with your thumb actually this is kind of a hack as this is not the original way Takeshi uses his uh, index and this comes around the index like that so he catches and lands it on the index at the same time which is much harder and then uh, so I just recommend you using your thumb and index separately like this it's basically the same thing so throw over catch with your thumb then you land the brother mount on your index and then you're gonna bounce right back out and uh, you see when you're doing this your palm is gonna be pointing up so as the yo-yo comes around you wanna untwist so you see this index is actually dragging this string along and you see there's this small portion here and this is where you're gonna land your chopstick like that so that's gonna be the mount before we move on to the next one but I'd say work on that first so slack throw and in this as you can see I have kind of a muscle memory where I untwist this left hand uh, my throw hand so make sure you untwist have this chopstick portion on use that um, this dismounting momentum swing over and what I like to do actually is to give it a little bit of slack so it's gonna move over and when it's in the air I'm gonna suddenly move my hand towards where the yo-yo is so there's a bit of slack and that makes this um, chopstick portion a bit more um, available actually oops missed that but basically it prevents the chopstick portion to um, slide down your finger like this making it impossible to land so you want to keep everything in line like that 
you want to go to the yo-yo. Again, you're gonna pop it up and you're gonna move to the yo-yo. And that's gonna be the amount you wanna be in before you move on to the extra elements. So this is what it's gonna look like in one motion. 